which for leaders is not too bad. Just like if you are um, a recycling business, trash is not a problem for you. Trash is your raw material. The leader, one of the definitions I like most, it's kind of poetic, but it's a person that's capable of transforming anxiety into confidence. So a leader will take a situation of great anxiety and people will follow a leader because when we're lost, when we don't know where to go, what to do, why, a leader can take that and somehow, and depending on the level of consciousness of the leader and the followers, the ways the leader does this will be different. So a gangster leader will be different than Gandhi, for example. But they will still do the same. The gangster leader will be telling people, don't worry, I understand what's going on. Here's what a leader says. I understand where we are. I understand where we need to go. And I know how to get there. And I'm going to tell you. Or we're going to figure out where we are. We're going to figure out where we want to go. And we'll figure out together how to get there and I'll support the process. So depending on the level of consciousness, different kinds of leadership will emerge. But these are three very important questions that lower the anxiety. But see, now from a postmodern perspective, this first question, where are we, it's not a trivial question at all. Because now we have to construct a map of where we are. This is not like technical research, it's not objective research. This is a narrative. We have to create a story that makes sense of where we are, where we want to go, and how are we going to get there. And this is more like writing a novel than doing a, you know, a satellite picture to make a geography map. Oh my god, what happened? I'm sorry. Yeah. So this is what we hit. This is what we get when we cross multiple stories. And Gareth Morgan has the, another phrase I love. The problem of organizational life is that a move such as pawn to king four, which is a chess move, will be countered with a lob across the net. So this is not playing chess with another person. You think you're playing chess. The other person thinks they're playing tennis. And the other person thinks they're playing rugby. And they're going to just tackle both of you. So, you know, you can imagine a meeting, it's it's going to be difficult. This dramatically changes Ashby's law. So if I take Ashby's law, now I, I reinterpret it from a postmodern perspective. Then I'll say, if a system is to thrive, its leadership must have the level of consciousness able to acknowledge, transcend, and integrate the diverse perspectives in the system being led. Only humility can navigate complexity. So this is a totally different way to understand what does it mean to lead a complex system. And it's based on humility. It's not based on, I know what to do, but it's based on, nobody knows what to do. So the question becomes, what gives me, why would I be enabled to lead? What gives me, as we, said, we were discussing yesterday with a group of presenters, legitimacy? How do I get legitimacy as a leader when I am saying, I don't know? Is it possible? to lead from I don't know. In my courses, I use a, a movie that, that I love. It's uh, 12 Angry Men. Uh, it's a movie with Henry Fonda from 1955, uh, black and white, just a wonderful movie based on a, um, a theater play. And it's 12 men in a jury trying to decide whether one is guilty. And at the beginning, it's 11 to 1. And the first question to the guy who votes not guilty is, do you really think he's not guilty? And his answer, he just says, I don't know. You don't know, but then what do you want? Well, I just want to talk about it. Well, you can imagine, or I, I recommend you watch the movie uh, if you haven't seen it, or you can imagine what happens next. It's a very interesting movie, but it, it's, it's very powerful, that first statement. From a lot, with a lot of integrity, Henry Fonda is like, I don't know. I don't know. But he says, I don't know in a way that he's not pushable. It's not, well, I don't know, I'll do whatever you tell me. It's, I don't know, and I stand strong in my not knowing. It's a different way of not knowing. It's not ignorance. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a powerful not knowing. So now, let's, let's shift gears and get back to the world of management. And, uh, 
you know, you have managers say, okay, Fred, this is great, okay, yes, I understand the, the postmodern stuff and the, this, this thing about the matrix, it's all great, but so what? How am I going to make more money with this, okay? Just tell me, what, what am I supposed to do? I want to grow my business and, you know, I, I'm paying you to come and teach us something. This is all very nice, but, uh, you know, just not, not, not a cup of tea. What, what, what do I do with this? And This thing is very... He doesn't like this transition. So, the first thing is, it gives you a different notion of what leadership is. So now, a leader is not the person that can control the variables. What we said before. It's not the old story, if you're a leader, you have to be in control. Now a leader is a person that can integrate different narratives and create a coherent picture that combines all these narratives where everybody feels acknowledged, everybody feels respected, everybody feels integrated, and at the same time, everybody's transcended because nobody has the whole truth. So this dialectic process at the same time affirms and denies both thesis and, synthesis, both thesis and antithesis. So each person that comes with a statement is going to experience the acceptance of the statement as the truth and the rejection of the statement as the absolute truth. And that is not a trivial thing for a leader to do, but that can be learned. So there are ways to do this. This is, this is a practice. This is something that a leader can learn how to do, or teams can learn how to do, people can learn how to do, and that's what makes a difference. That all this postmodern philosophy and, and cybernetics and all comes together and say, what are we going to do different? 